Discussion on aliasing and Nyquist limit in Doppler echocardiography. Aliasing is a phenomenon in pulsed Doppler echocardiography in which when the velocity is beyond a particular limit known as the Nyquist limit, the direction of flow is depicted as opposite to that of the actual one. Nyquist limit is half the pulse repetition frequency of the ultrasound signal emitted by the Doppler transducer. Aliasing does not occur in continuous wave Doppler as the transmission of Doppler beam is continuous and not in pulses. High pulse repetition frequency Doppler recording showing aortic regurgitation jet above the baseline with a cutoff at the upper end and a wraparound seen below the baseline. Here aliasing is seen because the limit has been set just above 200 cm per second while the velocity of the jet is higher than that. The tracing can be depicted upwards to its full extent by adjusting the velocity limit or by adjusting the baseline downwards. The dense jet seen below the baseline is the forward aortic flow. The peak forward gradient is measured as 20 mm of mercury which does not indicate significant aortic stenosis. This is a diagrammatic representation of what happens when the baseline of the Doppler tracing is shifted downwards. The portion of the ARZ which was below the baseline gets shifted to the cutoff portion of the ARZ above the baseline. Similar change occurs if maximum velocity setting is changed as well. Increasing the velocity setting increases the pulse repetition frequency of the HPRF. Similar phenomenon can be seen in color Doppler echocardiography as well. When the Nyquist limit is exceeded, a flow which should have been depicted as blue, that is away from the transducer, is depicted as red, seemingly as towards the transducer. This is the first wraparound. Nyquist limit of the color Doppler is displayed at the upper and lower ends of the color bar, which may be displayed either on the right upper corner or left upper corner. Here the flow away from the transducer in blue color has a Nyquist limit of minus 77 centimeters per second. Nyquist limit for the flow towards the transducer is not seen in this image as it has been cropped below that level. When the Nyquist limit is exceeded twice, the color again shifts back to the original color. This is known as second wraparound. In this image, the color bar is displayed on the left upper corner. Obviously, this is from a different machine. Both flow away from the transducer and towards the transducer as a Nyquist limit of 75 cm per second. Nyquist limits are different for color Doppler and HPR of Doppler even during a single imaging session. In the image shown here, Nyquist limit for HPR of is about 5 meter per second in both directions so that aortic regurgitation jet with peak velocity of 4.42 meter per second is seen to its full extent above the baseline. In the same image, the Nyquist limit of the color Doppler is only 63 centimeters per second. Hence, the color ARZ is seen as a mosaic jet in the inset. Multiple colors represent the variance in the velocity in each region due to the turbulence of the jet. Change in color with variance in the velocity is displayed in the color bar on the top right corner. The color bar is not just red and blue but a continuum of colors for varying velocities. Aliasing may not be displayed if the jet is not seen fully as in this case with trivial aortic regurgitation. Here the velocity limit above the baseline is about 3 meter per second that would correspond to a gradient of 36 millimeters of mercury which is not what is expected for a usual AR jet. In the previous image AR jet velocity was 4.42 meter per second which corresponded to a gradient of 78.14 millimeters of mercury. Aliasing velocity and Nyquist limit will be much lower in case of pulsed Doppler. That is why only HPRF is used for high-velocity jets.